In 1 Peter 3.15 we read, But set Christ apart as Lord in your hearts, and always be ready to give an answer to anyone who asks about the hope you possess. This passage reminds me of December 26, 2008, the day that Gran went home to be with the Lord. And even as his wife lay moments from dying, here was Grandad sharing the gospel with the hospice nurses. That's the kind of man he was, never passing up the opportunity to tell someone about the hope he had in Christ. Granddad, the servant, mentor, boss, stick it out till you get it done the best in the best possible way, caring for fellow workers, building relationships at all times, reflecting Christ to those around him in word and deed, incredible father-in-law, wonderful grandfather. Granddad, thank you for being a positive role model for not only me, but also my family. I am honored to have married into such a wonderful family, led by an amazing spiritual leader. Also, I have to say thank you for starting the tradition of dating at Fenton's Creamery. Life is way better with Mocha Royale and Coffee Cookie Dream. I love you, Granddad. My dad was definitely a prayer warrior mentor. I can still remember seeing him on his knees praying in the early morning hours. Yes, a couple of times he might have fallen asleep in that position. I have been given a great demonstration of the love our Heavenly Father has for us through the life and love of my dad. Granddad, thank you for showing me how a Christian man should live his life. You always had a positive outlook on life, even when things were tough. I love you. Uncle David was our principal at Valley and Baymont. Our first day at Baymont, he came into our classrooms, introducing his nieces to the classes, hugging us the whole time. A little embarrassing then, but always watching out for us. Denise and I got away with trading classrooms one April Fool's Day. The following year, he made sure that the teachers should again watch out for us. I guess he knew us pretty well. Denise and I were both referred to as Miss D to make sure he was always correct, but I always knew what his favorite was, Cheryl. We shared all of our holidays together, good and bad times together, and I will cherish those times the most. Last September, I remember going home from the family reunion, and we were going to stop by Fenton's, and everybody else in the car except Granddad knew that. And then when he spotted the billboard, he all of a sudden got super excited and was going, Fenton's? Fenton's? I want Fenton's. I already know what I want. I want a chocolate milkshake extra thick. And he was just really funny how he got so excited for his milkshake. As I have thought about Granddad this week, I have come up with three character qualities that I would like to apply to my life with hopefully the same amount of intentionality as he demonstrated. Love, gently and always. Patience, with honor and humility. And commitment, with devotion and faithfulness. Granddad exhibited these no matter what the circumstances. Throughout my life, I have grown up admiring Granddad for the man of God that he was, starting two Christian schools, working as a hospital chaplain, and working with youth in Chicago. I have heard countless stories of people's lives he has touched. However, it was not until this last couple of days did I see personally how much God truly used him both in life and death. Most impressively, people who have never met him having their hearts softened to God by seeing other people who have had the honor. I can tell you with great confidence God has said, you have run a great race. Well done, my good and faithful servant.